guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I want to talk about revamping, refreshing my nighttime routine. Really just adding one back in. So I've been on this big kick lately, as you probably can tell from my videos and everything. <laughs> but I have been making some small yet big changes that have had a very positive impact on my life and I'm going to share that with you. I'm almost done with it but did like a 30 day morning challenge. It's just going to carry on because it's just been so good. And I really have enjoyed my time in the morning to just drink a hot cup of coffee, move my body, journal. And it was just like, I looked forward to it so much that I was like, you know what? Why don't I do something similar at night? Or just like give myself time and space before bed to like nourish my soul is a good way to put it. So that's what I did. I looked at the things that I missed from before having Theo and I was like, how can I fit that into my night? Michael and I had gotten into a habit of watching like Netflix or a movie or something right up until like 9.45 and then going, you know what, I should probably go to bed. So let's go like brush our teeth and crawl in the bed. And then expecting your brain to switch off and just go to sleep. <laughs> it's not how it works, turns out. So I was just sleeping terribly. I was just tired. It took me a long time to fall asleep. And like, while I like having time to like relax and decompress with Michael and spend some time with him when it's just the two of us, I knew that I, I needed to stop technology at a certain point before bed to actually be able to fall asleep and sleep well throughout the night. So Theo usually goes to sleep around 7.30 and that's when my night starts and I'll just take you through what I do. So I find the best time for me to like do the final clean of the day is right after Theo goes to sleep. Like if I go and watch TV first and then try to clean up, it just it's not gonna happen. I know I'm just like, while I'm still moving, that's when I have to clean up. So we will clean up from dinner. That's when I will start the load of dishes. I pick up his toys. I do a final like little pick up the clutter clean up. That way the house is clean in the morning and there's nothing more satisfying than waking up to a clean house. Like I always like just give myself a pat on the back in the morning because it's just so calming to start your day in a clean house. I can't recommend it enough. So I do a like 15 to 30 minute like final clean of the day right after Thea goes to bed. To make it more enjoyable, I usually listen to Harry Potter, but I'm on the last book. So I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. Or I'll listen to some music, or I'll listen to a different audiobook, or I'll listen to a podcast. But like having some sort of like entertainment or something to listen to makes cleaning more enjoyable. For the next hour, so 8 to 9 p.m. That's my like decompress, hang out with Michael, watch something on TV time. We're currently watching the show alone, <laughs> which is not something normally I'd be into, but completely different for us and we've really been enjoying it. We also recently watched The Social Dilemma. That was a good one. That's our hour to watch stuff together. A great way to decompress, spend some time together, um, get your technology fixed before you shut it off. But then once 9 p.m. hits, it's goodbye TV, goodbye computer, goodbye phone, like goodbye technology, you're just done with it. I'll listen to some stuff while I get ready for bed, but no more social media, no more YouTube, no more Netflix. Setting yourself a time of like get off of technology, and I recommend like an hour before bed, is just so helpful and actually falling asleep, sleeping well and all that good stuff. So 9 p.m. is mine because I like to go to bed at 10 because I get up at six. I make myself a nice cup of jasmine tea, so take it upstairs with me and I do my skincare next before I just like brush my teeth and go to bed. But taking time to actually doing like a little bit of skincare at night is just so nice. Like going to bed with a clean moisturized face is just like so luxurious. And it's nice to like, if you have like an overnight sleep mask to put that on. So you wake up with like soft skin. So I make time for my skin at night. And then, you know, the usual is like brush your teeth, all that good stuff. From there, I head into the bedroom and I get my little spot set up in bed. I have this like nighttime calm spray that it's like Jasmine and other stuff. I've shared it before. I'll link it down below if I remember to, but I spray that on my pillows so I can like smell that as I'm like winding down for bed. And the next thing I do is journal. 
I am currently journaling in my like regular journal because I haven't found one to replace it with. My goal with this like journal session is to just do a quick reflection on the day and to come up with my gratitudes for the day. Having a like regular gratitude practice is just so helpful because sometimes you feel like, wow, today was just such a waste. I didn't get anything done. My life sucks, blah, blah, blah. I'm so bored. But to actually like think of the moments in your day that were like, oh, that was like a really sweet moment with you or like I'm really actually happy I got this done or I'm really happy that like this is happening in life to take just a couple minutes and think about that just makes you a happier person and you find yourself noticing those moments as they're actually happening to you during the day next after I'm done journaling I like to read I used to like read books like a madman but since having Theo it's, it was just hard for me to read books and then I would try to read before bed but I'd be so tired that I get a couple pages and <laughs> reading a book a couple pages at a time is impossible so I've been working my way through like different books. I read The Latte Factor recently. I'm currently working on digital minimalism, but I will just read my book until I'm tired or until it's 9.50. And then the final thing I do is I do a 10 minute meditation. I used to meditate every single day. A lot of people meditate in the morning, but I like meditating before bed. And I use the Headspace app. <laughs> and I just do them using like the free ones right now because I'm not paying for it. But it's so funny because every meditation is like, you know, find a comfortable seated position with your feet on the floor, like your back straight. And I like have my face mask on and I'm like curled up in bed, like the opposite of what you're supposed to do. But that's my like happy place and that's how I like to meditate. And so I'll do my 10 minute meditation and either I'll fall asleep, which I know you're not supposed to, but I do, or I'll finish it up. I already have my sleep mask on and I go to sleep and it's glorious and I drift right to sleep so easily and I sleep so well now. And this simple nighttime routine allows me to have a good night of sleep. I'm the type of person that like thrives off of like eight, nine hours of sleep. Like I like my sleep and then I'm able to wake up at 6 a.m. and feel like refreshed and ready to go for the day instead of feeling like I got ran over by a bus. Refreshing a routine or adding in a routine doesn't have to be complicated or fancy. It doesn't have to be 20 different steps. It doesn't have to be expensive or luxurious. God, my nose really itches right now. Just changing one thing can make a world of difference. Just getting off of technology an hour before you go to sleep, looking at the things that you really enjoy doing and feel like you're good for your like body and mind and soul are great for a nighttime routine. And maybe it's just reading a book before bed. Maybe that's the one change you add in. I think that will have such a positive impact. I think everyone should take a moment, even if you don't write them down, to just sit and think of your gratitude from the day. Even if it's just one thing you're like grateful for, think about it. I highly encourage you to look at the hour before bed and what you're spending your time doing. And I understand that like sometimes it's a luxury to have time to like relax and decompress and like journal before bed. Like I understand there's people that are working multiple jobs and have a lot of kids and they have so many different responsibilities, they don't have time for this. Um, but for the rest of us out there that have that privilege, take the time to look at what you're spending your time doing before bed. Do you go to bed feeling like positive and relaxed and refreshed or are you depressed and antsy and unhappy because you've just spent it on social media comparing yourselves to others without even like really meaning to, but I still use social media, I still love social media. But if I like waste away time just like scrolling through it, I always end up feeling like like I've wasted my time. I feel tired afterwards and I don't feel like uplifted or happy. And that's not what I need before bed. <laughs> I'm trying to be much more conscious with my social media usage. And I there is a lot of good and like positive feelings that can come from it. But like just mindless scrolling is not the way to end your day. Let me know down below what your nighttime routine currently consists of, if you've made any changes recently, and if there's any like must do's before you go to bed. I'd love to hear those. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.